Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. We have started a series of video lecture on different home appliances. In today's lecture, we will see about the fan. First, let us see the classification of the fan. We have broadly two classification. One is ceiling fan, which we connect to the ceiling and another is table fan which we keep on the table based on the location we have two different types of classification first let us start with the ceiling fan let us see the construction type of motor which we use in the ceiling fan in the ceiling fan we use single phase induction motor but we know that in case of single phase induction motor, it is not a self start motor. So we have to use certain method to split the phase. So here we use a capacitor to split the phase and the induction motor we use that is a capacitor start, capacitor run type of induction motor, single phase induction motor and capacitor remain in the circuit permanently and that is why centrifugal type of switch is not used we have two windings one is known as the main winding and one is known as auxiliary winding and both the windings are 90 degree apart to each other main winding and starting winding might be known as auxiliary winding and for purpose of splitting a phase capacitor is connected in series with the starting winding in the figure we can see that uh, we have main winding with the main winding we have starting winding capacitor for purpose of splitting a phase is connected in series with the starting winding we apply single phase supply and we have rotor that is normal squirrel cage type of rotor slots are cut on the outer periphery of the stator core in case of ceiling fan we use a motor in which stator remain at the center and rotor surrounds the stator so at the outer periphery slots are cut to house a stator winding the rotor core is in the form of a ring which surrounds the stator core stator core is joined with the rod from the center to hang to the ceiling so in the diagram we can see that at the center we have stator stator remains stationary at the center of the stator one rod is joined at the outer periphery of the stator we have slots provided in which we house our two winding main as well as starting winding and rotor is in the form of a ring and skewer each type of rotor is used closed slots are cut on the outer periphery and copper bars are embedded in this slot we use the copper bars in the slots the bars are short circuited at the end with the short circuiting ring so construction of rotor is a normal Spirit cage type of rotor. Outer cover is also fitted with the rotor and we fit blades to the rotor or outer cover itself. So when rotor rotates, blades fitted with the outer cover also rotate. Now let us discuss some of the probable faults and possible causes for the faults. Some of the common fault we will discuss the main common fault that is fan does not run 
and possible causes if fan is not running then there might be no supply so first we have to check that whether supply is available or not switch might be faulty we use the switch to on and off the fan but switch might be faulty and supply is not uh, reaching to the motor in this case we have to replace the switch open circuit in regulator between switch and fan we use a regulator for the speed control sometime there is a open circuit in the regulator in the case we have to correct or we have to replace the regulator main winding might be open second probable fault that is a fan is running slow main reason for this type of fault is a weak capacitor if we replace the capacitor then we are done with the fault noise from the fan we might have dried or jammed brush or bearings in this case we have to take care about uh, bearings fan vibrates the main reason for vibration that is unbalancing sometimes blades are bent sometimes blades are loosely fitted fuse blows off when we start the fan fuse blow and the reason is short circuit in the main winding with the earth or between the winding let us discuss the specification normally we apply for the ceiling fan operating voltage 230 volt ac supply single phase frequency 50 hertz power consumption that is 80 to 100 watt sweep that is the size of the blade 1200 to 1400 mm speed 200 to 500 rpm in case of certain fault we have to test mostly the running winding and sometime starting winding also so the testing procedure we apply for the running winding that is applicable to the starting winding also we might have open circuit in the winding there might be a earth fault or there might be a short circuit we'll discuss one by one each type of fault and how to test the running winding that we'll be discussing with the help of diagram suppose we use a test lamp to test the winding first we test the running winding we have connected the test lamp one of the lead of the test lamp that is connected to the phase and another lead of the test lamp that is connected to the running winding r1 that is a one terminal of the running winding and another terminal r2 of the running winding is connected with the neutral so now we have three possibility lamp does not glow the meaning is circuit is incomplete and we can conclude that winding is open so if lamp does not glow winding might be open lamp glows but dimly then winding is okay because winding have certain resistance and the third possibility lamp glows bright then we can conclude that winding is short circuited so while testing a running winding we use a test lamp we connect in series with the supply and a running winding and based on the intensity of the lamp we decide whether running winding is uh, open short circuited or it is okay then second possibility we use for earth fault we connect again 
test clamp one of the lead of the test clamp is connected with the face and one of the lead of the test clamp that is connected to the one of the terminal of the running winding now neutral is connected with the body neutral is connected with the body now again we have two condition lamp does not glow and we can conclude that there is no earth fault because circuit is incomplete and running winding is not in contact with the body if lamp glows then there must be a earth fault now testing of short circuit between two windings that is a running winding as well as a starting winding so now again we use the test lamp we connect one of the lead of the test clamp with the phase and one lead we connect to the one of the terminal of the running winding r1 we use the neutral with the one of the terminal of the starting winding and now we have a possibility if lamp does not glow there is no short circuit but if lamp glows we can conclude that there is a short circuit between running as well as starting winding now let us discuss another category of fan and that is table fan now let us see the construction of the table fan we use two different types of motor one is a shaded pole type of motor and one is split phase type of motor in case of table fan also we use the single phase supply we use a single phase type of induction motor and for the purpose of splitting a phase we have different methodology first let us see the shaded pole type of construction normally in shaded pole type of motor we use either two or four poles all the poles are laminated poles and for the purpose of splitting a phase we cut the pole at the one third part and then at the narrow end we use copper shading ring winding is wound over the pole and all the winding which we have wound on the pole that is connected in series and it is connected to the supply rotor that is our normal square cage type of rotor in the figure we can see that we have four different poles we have cut the poles and at the narrow end we have one copper shading ring winding is wound on the pole and all the windings are connected in series and it is taken at the terminal to connect with the supply rotor is our normal square cage type of rotor stator is stationary stator surrounds the rotor the rotor remain in the center and we connect a shaft with the rotor so when a rotor rotates the shaft also rotate and we connect the blades with the shaft now split phase type of single phase induction motor we use a stator at the outer periphery stator remain stationary slots are cut on the inside periphery and we use a stator winding to house in the slots provided in the stator core we use a two windings one is a main winding and another is starting winding as usual both the windings are kept 90 degree apart for splitting a phase we use a capacitor capacitor is connected in series with the starting winding because it is a capacitor start capacitor run type of motor capacitor remain permanently in the circuit as long as motor is in operation so we can see the construction of the split phase type of uh, 
motor which we use in double fan so we have stator at the outer side and the rotor that is connected at the center now let us see the working of the table fan heavy base is made in which we house capacitors and regulator one oscillating mechanism is uh, fitted and fan can swing to some angle piano type switches for regulator and we can use the switches for the speed control cement coated resistors we use for the regulator purpose thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much